On a water treatment plant, one of the flow sensor reads zero in the HMI panel. Let's take a little closer and find out what happened here. On the HMI flow chart, the flow sensor was installed right after the reverse osmosis unit. Since the system is working, flow sensor should send signal to the PLC to display the gallon per minute value. As you can see, the wiring of flow sensor is looped to power supply and PLC. Flow sensor power is present, 4 to 20 milliamp displayed in the sensor monitor. Meaning, the wiring is good and we have to check the sensor itself. In removing the flow sensor, open the cover and double check the display. Hand loosen the threaded nut onto the installation fitting. And carefully pull out the flow sensor. As you can see, the paddle wheel was misaligned and cannot move freely. Paddle wheel is a magnetic type, the flow and the revolutions of the paddle wheel are proportional to each other. Thus, by spinning the paddle wheel with the force from the flowing fluid, it becomes possible to measure the rate of this flow from the number of revolutions. The paddle wheel was broken, that's why there was no reading of GPM in the HMI. Paddle wheel flow meters use the mechanical energy of the fluid to rotate a paddle wheel in the flow stream. Paddles on the rotor are inserted into the flow to transform energy from the flow stream into rotational energy. Paddle wheel don't have a replacement spare available in the market, you should order the whole sensor. There are wide range of Signet 2537 paddle wheel flow meter, depends on the pipe size, sensor type, and pressure capacity. In ordering the sensor, write down the complete code, or you can download the Signet 2537 data sheet, and check which is the best one to use on your system. Please consider giving this video, a thumbs up. Every time you hit a like button, you help us growing our channel. Subscribe as well to notify you when there's new video uploaded, thank you very much and have a good day.